Lighthouses have played an important role in Florida's history, making it possible for sailors to safely navigate our 1,350 miles of coastline throughout the decades. Dotting the coastline from Pensacola to the Keys and all the way back up the Atlantic coast, today only about 30 remain. Some of these have weathered wars and hurricanes and still stand tall. Here's my 10 favorite lighthouses in Florida. Number 10, Cape Canaveral Light. The Cape Canaveral Lighthouse was built over 100 years before the similarly shaped and colored rockets would launch from this very location to warn sailors of the hazardous shoals that extend into the Atlantic off Cape Canaveral's coast. Eventually, this location would be selected to launch the space program, and the lighthouse became part of Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. The lighthouse is open to the public, but only by scheduling a tour in advance. Number 9, Pensacola Light. The light at Pensacola was first lit in 1859 and had quite an early history. It was damaged by artillery fire during an 1861 Civil War battle and then fell into Union hands, but not before the Confederates removed the lens and most of its supplies to render it useless to its new owners. The Union did manage to repair and relight it in 1863. Now, over 150 years later, it's still in active service as a navigational beacon today. It's open for visitors where you can sometimes see the Blue Angels practice from the best view in Pensacola. Number 8, Egmont Key Light. While it may not be the most classically beautiful lighthouse on the list, it's one of the most important and in a really great place to visit on a day trip. While many Florida lighthouses have been put out of service and are now largely museums or historical landmarks, the light at Egmont Key is still very much active and serves an important purpose marking the entrance to the busy shipping channel that enters Tampa Bay. It's located just steps away from the remains of Fort Dade, which was built to protect Tampa Bay from attack during the Spanish-American War. Egmont Key has a lot of history and is accessible only by boat. Visitors who make the effort to get out here will be treated to a lightly visited state park with a secluded beach, snorkeling, and a large population of gopher tortoises wandering the island. Number 7, Key West Light. Located in the middle of downtown Key West, this lighthouse is no longer functioning, but its presence adds to the nautical charm of Key West. Built in 1849 to replace the first one that was destroyed in an 1846 hurricane, today it's part of the Key West Art and Historical Society Museum. Number 6, Jupiter Inlet Light. This beautiful, bold red brick lighthouse stands tall in stark contrast from its surroundings on the Loxahatchee River in Jupiter, just a little north of West Palm Beach. First lit in 1860, the Jupiter Inlet Light later became part of a U.S. Navy radio station, and then in 1940 was used as a listening post for German U-boat activity, codenamed Station J. By mid-1943, 67 U-boats were located and sunk by the men working here. Today it's a museum and open to the public. Number 5, Amelia Island Light. Built in 1838, the light at Amelia Island is the oldest lighthouse in Florida. It's located in the far northeast corner of the state on the north end of Amelia Island, where it marks the entrance to the inlet leading to the St. Mary's River, and its light can be seen all across Nassau Sound. It's still in active service and operated by the Coast Guard, so the grounds are only open to the public for a few hours on Saturdays and tours inside the lighthouse are just twice a month. Number 4, the Ponce de Leon Inlet Light. At 175 feet tall, the Ponce de Leon Inlet Light just south of Daytona Beach is the tallest lighthouse in Florida and the third tallest in the United States. First lit in 1887, this lighthouse became a national historic landmark in 1998. Today its light shines again over the entrance to Ponce de Leon Inlet after restoration efforts. It's open to the public 363 days a year. Number 3, Cape Florida Light. The Cape Florida Lighthouse is one of the oldest lighthouses in Florida and a Miami area landmark. It's a beautiful example of a classic lighthouse that's right on the beach at the southern tip of Key Biscayne. The current structure was built in 1846 
and has withstood hurricanes and sabotage during the Civil War. It's now part of Bill Bagg's Cape Florida State Park and is a great place to visit on a beach day in South Florida. Number 2. Loggerhead Key Light Now getting out to this one is an adventure in itself. Also known as the Dry Tortugas Light, it's located about 70 miles into the Gulf of Mexico from Key West. This light is easily the most remote on the list and in one of the most remote places in all of what is still technically considered Florida. It's just north of Dry Tortugas National Park and you can only get out here by boat or seaplane. What I love about Loggerhead Key Light is just how authentic and almost spooky it looks rising out of a remote island that straddles the Gulf and the Caribbean. Number 1. St. Augustine Light Rising from America's oldest city is my favorite lighthouse in Florida. The view from the top is spectacular, with a 360 degree panorama of Old St. Augustine on one side and Matanzas Bay on the other. I love the bold candy striping and the red lantern room that can be seen from miles away. The St. Augustine Lighthouse is now a maritime history museum and is open to the public every day. So that's my list of the best lighthouses in Florida. Do you have a favorite that I forgot about? or just want to talk about your own favorite, leave a comment below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.